today i just want to talk about something um pertaining some comments that was made by buju banton and hmm, i just don't want to play the video but i know most of you guys have seen it via social media so i just have to address the issue so my points are being stated here now first of all i mean um let me say this you see the reggae musicians and eh, these veterans eh, they know how to protect the agenda very well as for that one i will not dispute the fact Moku protect one agenda of music which is the reggae music they know how to do it best now i mean buju was talking about content wise in terms of the afro beat what content does it drive or what impact does these songs make charlie to be sincere with you you know be every song where you expect say make it make impact you know be every song where you expect say if i give you message it is the artist's discretion to go into the studio to record whatever he or she feels to record or to produce or to bring out to the market for patrons to consume you don't need to tell an artist that Charlie, you have to tone on this subject matter you can't tell a creative person to go or tone in that lane and what do i see on social media people saying yeah this is what we've been preaching about like i'm, I'm like yo brothers what is wrong with you people that person they protect in general but when it came to other general see how they belittle those general and you guys, they make that thing they look like, yeah, what the person they talk, it, it they make a lot of reasoning. It they make a lot of reasonings to you. To, to date, eh? To date. If would you say the one host concert, recent, which recently he did he did that in the States. He sold out their concert, hands down. So why can't you allow other genre of music feed on whatever it is that is on their table? Why is it? I don't know, but like, it looks like that he talks he's making his point make it look like he feels hurt or something of that sort fine yes it was true reggae that's beth dance hall which each and everybody knows in in this world but at the end of the day do you see every dance hall artist making impactful music or in, giving us impactful con uh, content to be consumed by fans it's not everybody everybody and the channel or the angle he or she wants to use to make it in life so if somebody, I mean, if revolution is in where people don't consume their reggae music as much as compared to dancehall, or people are now consuming the Afro beats more than, I mean, your genre of music, it doesn't mean there is any rivalry or any problem with that. What, I mean, to me, what Buju must do is look out for these people and see how best he can channel his genre of music and fuse it with the afrobeats and also be be in the system that is if really he wants to do the music Charlie, but sometimes hey hey i say more i mean i won't give example example be shatawale shatawale touch on this song too much chemical if you guys have listened to that song before too much chemical one of the sensible song but tell me where the song go tell me where that song go too much chemical go listen to that song where the song go Stoneboy released Rango. Rango, yes, a reggae vibe, but you get an Afrobeat fuse in it. But at the end of the day, Rango, people, they use them for demonstration. Is that not also a content that, I mean, talks about, relating to, I mean, everyday life, so everyday social issues and stuff like that. Charlie, sometimes before, I say, I'm you, remember you. There's somebody like Regina Stone to watch it for talk. Big man. Sometimes you people, your trances be somewhere. I don't know if they are head seeing other African artists selling these big, big arenas and stuff that is making them talk less of other genre of music. Charlie, it be too bad. 